Good evening, everyone. Well, tonight I'm trying to make some sort of sense out of the mess that I have going on in my house. So I thought, you know, let's start with the cat barf dripping down the side of the chair. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just taking my large pieces of furniture, putting them where they go. Still have a sink in the middle of the floor, waiting for toilets to be put in. Just trying to put the large pieces back where they go so that I can feel less cluttered and then just worry about unpacking one box at a time. <sighs> this process has been quite traumatic. I, I don't deal well with change. I guess no one really does. But then when you add clutter and dirt and dust and people in my house yeah it's a little bit much so yeah i um just wanted to go through and start picking up big things i knew where they went wiping the the sawdust and just kicked up dust and dirt off of the larger pieces you know as i placed them I can say that I love the way that the house smells right now. I don't know why I turned on my little pumpkin center, but whatever. Because with the wood, the pine wood up and the new carpet and the new floors, my house smells like a new house. And I just love that smell of the wood. I think largely it's the between the carpet and probably the pine boards but man it smells so good i see jenna's getting home um so yes because this was the night uh i think this was night two of the aurora borealis the northern lights that was supposed to be showing and so I'm over here cleaning, doing whatever. She texted me and she's like, come on, let's go for a walk and look for the northern light. Nothing. The real good night was the night before. And we laughed at how both of us were just like uh, in the bed, eight o'clock. We're not doing anything. We're exhausted. And then the next night, you know, I'm up cleaning, didn't even think about it. But we had a nice little walk and chat. And I told her all of my oh no that wasn't the night it was the next night this was the good night it just wasn't eight o'clock yet when the lights were good okay whatever anyway let's go to the living room <laughs> we don't know what day it is we don't know where we are we don't it's a lot okay there's a lot going on I'm losing my mind I'm trying to get my life back together get all of my stuff unpacked, all of those boxes in the corner. <sighs> it's a lot. A ton of wood in my floor. Look at me, push it over. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess I'm talking to you now about the wood. That's all the wood we have left. Yeah, we're, we're, we're telling you about it. We don't want to hear it less. Nobody wants to hear your nonsense. Um, yeah, see, you can tell I'm losing my mind because I'm walking in circles. <laughs> pick one thing up, put it where it goes, talk a story about some wood, pick one thing out of a box, hang that on the wall. I guess I, I guess this is the point where I started unpacking boxes or Maybe I just came, okay, we're going to talk some more about the wood. Oh, now we'll go grab something different. Yeah, poor me. Poor me. I'm so overwhelmed because there's just so much stuff in this wood. Nothing was making me madder than this pile of wood in the middle of my floor. Then I thought about pulling my sofa up closer to the TV and putting that white table underneath my mailbox behind my sofa ultimately I decided against that because then the shelf would just be there with nothing under it <laughs> yeah see we we're looking we're deciding we 
decided against that because it just wouldn't look right. <laughs> All right, we've made a little bit of progress. We've gotten things close to where they will be. The stuff that goes in this corner will be put there as soon as I can move these, but I need to place all of my other furniture pretty much where it's going to go, and I think I've done that except for that corner because it has boxes. But I'm going to unload those boxes, put out my decor, water all of my plants that have been sitting for almost a month with no water. <laughs> Okay, great. That's what we're gonna do. Is that what we're gonna do, Boogie? Yes. All right. Let's carry on. Alright, I have done everything but what's on my list. <laughs> um, I'm clearing out my space in the bar area, packing my car with things to go to the Goodwill, figured out what's going to go in here. I've got the pedestals on the bottom, so I put all of my paper towels, toilet paper, light bulbs, things like that underneath the dryer. 
And then in the washer's pedestal, I just have my cleaning solution and like delicate bags and things. So, I'm getting ready to use them for the first time. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but I wanted to show you what I decided to do last night at 8.30. I decided to install that light. Don't know if I can get y'all closer. Hold on. Figure out what I'm doing. I got it from Walmart. It was like $39.95 or $98 or whatever. $40. Bucks. The first one I got, the plastic lip that holds the globe was broken. Somebody had gotten in there, broken it, and returned it. So I took a chance and got another one off the shelf. I opened the box, checked all the pieces and parts, and realized that somebody had definitely opened the last one because this one was covered in bubble wrap. They didn't put the bubble wrap back in. They probably sat and popped it all, which is the best part of bubble wrap. Anyway, so I have two daylight bulbs in there. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I had one of those long um, fluorescent. Yeah, that was real fun to take down. They had a molly bolt in there, which is one of those big bolts with a metal um, wall anchor. And so I did pull a big chunk of the um, ceiling away, but it didn't come completely off. So I was able to just kind of stick that back up in there, push the wires up in there. I do not have a plate. Most lights, you have a metal box in there and you put a little crossways um, bracket on and that's what you screw in the that black round base. Didn't have that. So, <laughs> I just took two long screws with regular plastic wall anchors that hold up to like 20 pounds, which is a little bit much, but maybe it's 10 pounds. But I wanted to make sure it would stay and screwed, uh, drilled holes, put the wall brackets in, screwed, screwed. It's fine. Okay, made my own mount. Very proud of myself. Thank you very much. And I replaced my light switch. I don't know. Maybe we went through that. But here's me. Hold on. Let me, oh, let me raise up a little bit so you can see. Okay, not that one. Maybe this one. Oh, Lord, that one's all the way up, too. All right. Here's me. Here's the height of... Well... Hey, I got them on pedestals. <laughs> but it's okay because I can reach. There is no more climbing into my washer. I can just reach, okay? Now, the only problem with having them up this high, they're also reversed too. They put my dryer over here and my washer over here so that they would open like this, which is fine. This is where the cleaning solution goes. <laughs> Who can see that? If I get on my tippy toes, I can. I can. Stool. Solving problems one day at a time. Okay. Just gonna have to use my stool for this one part. It's fine because I'm not climbing into machines to get to the bottom. I'm just pouring, shutting, and going. Okay? So I have had front loader washers. Not this type, but like apartment grade from Europe, small machines. I didn't worry about how to use it. I threw my clothes in, threw my stuff in, used it. I am paranoid. Am I going to overload it? Is it going to, you know, shake everywhere? Am I going to pour the solutions in the right? I took my pill today. We don't know what's going on. We're going to do some laundry, 
and we're not going to be dumb and paranoid. <laughs> okay. We're going to start off with the lights, and light is light enough. We're not separating polyesters from cottons. We don't do that. We do lights and darks, and we get stuff done. Okay. Now, I do have all these fabulous buttons that I want to play with, but we don't have time to play this week. We have to get the house in order because we have to work tomorrow. So, I guess I'm going to add the clothes first. Let's just do that. So, here's all the lights going in. It's a pretty small load. My darks, I'm going to have to break up into two loads. This is about half a, half a barrel, or whatever you call it. Okay. Close my very beautiful rose gold doors. Did you see that? Look at these beautiful rose gold dials. <laughs> oh, I hooked it up to my phone. It's Wi-Fi. So my phone's going to tell me when it's done. Friendship. So fancy, so fancy we don't know how to use it. All right, let's get, let's stop being weird, Leslie. People aren't going to subscribe if you're really weird. Okay, thanks. So, get on our stool. Put this in, oh, oh no. It just got all over my beautiful new machine. Oh no! What is happening? What is leaking? All in my machine. Okay. Main wash liquid detergent. Remove tray for something. Remo oh. Remove tray for powder. Huh, didn't know you could use powder. Okay. We're gonna do it right there. Okay, that's enough. Wow, it doesn't take very much at all. Okay, now I gotta take this over to the sink and wash it off. That's fun. Okay, let's do that. Wipe down all of the soap spills. My goodness. It just got every oh it went down in there. We can't have any of that. Okay. Oh no, don't you get all over my beauty. It smells good. I went and smelled all of the detergents because I was like, what do I want? I'm not used to having liquids. I'm used to just picking up the cheapest pods or whatever's on sale and throwing them in and whatever. But now that I can choose what it smells like, I'm so excited. I need to clean that light globe. Anyway. Just take one of these layer clothes and dry it off. It's fine. Oh, and I want to show you what's really cool. I don't know if all of them have this, but the pedestals draw up. Oh, we have water from the rag, but the pedestal drawers. 
comes out. I don't know why we need to take it out. Unless we have something really big that needs to go in there, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Because there's a lot of room left. Anyway, we're just going to keep it like that for now. Now we have to do the fabric softener. Okay. Fabric softener. Dilute concentrated fabric softeners with warm water. Well, how do we do that? Is this concentrated? How do you know what it is? We're not. We don't know what any of that is. I don't know what any of that means. How do you know? Okay. Oh, okay, you get to put quite a bit more. Do if we don't. Thank you. Okay, we're going to say that's good. Pre-wash, we're not going to use today. Okay. So we're going to close that. And we're going to turn it on. What do we want to put it? Let's just put it on normal. Okay. Now I'm going to sit and watch it wash. We have some blankets. I'm going to watch the blankets. <laughs> oh, 29 minutes. I'll see you in 29 minutes. So my phone alerted me that my laundry was done and I turned it off by hitting the button on my phone. <laughs> it was fun. I like gadgets. Okay. So now we're going to transfer... Oh, it smells so lovely. Everything getting into the corners of the fitted sheets is so fun. This definitely spins much better than my old washer. It was really, is probably 12, 14 years old and my clothes would be so wet. 
coming out. It's not going to take any time for these clothes to dry. They're probably much cleaner, too. Oh, look at that. I can reach the very back. Don't have to climb into anything. Don't have to do anything like that. All right, so here, we turn it on. The cat is snoring. We're going to just do a normal dry and put in our darks into the washer. Now what you came to my channel to see? Pretty sure it is. liquid detergent time. folks that's about it for today i'm going to do a quick video take you around to show you what everything's looking like and then i'll see you on the next one for progress we hope <laughs>